How'd you like to work full time for the Justice Department? John Martin, you have two options and only two. Either pay me $100,000 now and you will never hear from me again, or pay me one million after I have abducted you or a member of your family. Give me your answer in tomorrow's Times Tribune in the classified section under personal announcements. Hi. Hi, darling. What'd you do, buy off the store? I wanted to pick up some stuff for a trip to Puerto Rico and I found the stress alone. Kathy, what if I were to tell you that we might have to postpone the trip to Puerto Rico? Oh, no. But I was really looking forward to it. What happened? Nothing happened. We're leaving Tuesday. Something came up, it can wait. <laughs> You're the greatest. Hmm? Well, how'd you think so? Hey, get going. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Bye. Bye. Harry Hammond, Justice Department. All Unit 60 Adam 29 is looking for a suspect wanted for evading. They are in the area of Racine and Davidson. 16 Adam 29 requesting other units to block off the area. Suspect is described as a male Caucasian, brown and blue, 6 foot, 165 pounds, wearing beige slacks and a plaid shirt. Suspect is last seen running southbound on foot from Racine and Davidson. Adam 81, 16A81, meet 16 and 16X36, northwest corner of Racine and York. 16 Adam 3, it is unknown at this time, the suspect is wanted for anything other than evading. 16 x 46 northwest corner of Racine and Davidson. If gonna hurt you, I would have already done it. I work for your father. My father? My father's in Europe. Switzerland. I don't understand. If you work for my father, why are the police after you? What do you think? You know what he does. My father's president of Swiss International Bank. Right. Look, I came here because I got into trouble. Wait. I didn't know where else oh, to go. Now. Raise your hands. Very convincing. You really scared me. Did she buy it? She seemed to. But I honestly don't think she knows what her father does. I think she believes he's the president of a bank. Maybe she does. Maybe it's just an act. 
I think we better keep up appearances on our end until we know for sure. All right. She's sticking to her story. She's also a pretty beef. What do you want to do? Let her go. Hello. Hello, Hans. This is Sheila. Is my father there? Oh, Miss Holvard. Uh, no, he's away working right now. Uh, shall I have him call you when he gets back? Yes, please have him call me at home. It's important, Hans, very important. Yes, yes, I shall have him call you just as soon as he arrives. Thank you very much. Bye. Senator, I've got to be honest with you. I realize that a man in your position gets many threats, mostly from cranks. This one is not. I'm familiar with the name Scorpion, if this is really the Scorpion. Senator, it's the same M.O. I don't think we can take any chance on it being an imposter. You and your daughter could be in real danger. We can help. Relocate you somewhere where the Scorpion can't find you. Let you lie low until he moves on someone else. And let another family live through the nightmare. Gentlemen, I'm dedicating a building in Puerto Rico, and I intend to do just that. My daughter's been looking forward to this vacation for six months, and she's going to have it. I've been in public office for 23 years. I never ran away from a confrontation. I don't choose to start now. Senator, I think what Harry means is we don't mean to use you or your daughter as bait. I appreciate that. But if this is the Scorpion, my daughter and I are already in danger no matter where we are. The man has to be stopped. He chose me as a victim. I'd like to turn those tables. Let's get him. What about your daughter? I don't want to frighten her. This may turn out to be nothing. All right. All right. But you're going to be surrounded by our men at all times. <laughs> Even if you don't see them. That's good enough for me. What's the Scorpion's daughter like? Beautiful, frightened. I think I'm really scared. When are you going to tell her about her father? Soon. I'm just not looking forward to it. Well, Frank, she's the only person close enough to him to find out what his plan is. I know what needs to be done. I don't have to like it. Good luck. You too. Is this your first trip to Puerto Rico? Uh-huh. How about you? No, I go down there every year for the surfing. A lot of people don't know it, but there's real good surfing down there. I've never tried surfing. Is it hard to learn? No, not if you have the right teacher. I'm Joe Hardy. Kathy. Catherine Martin. I've really been looking forward to this trip for months. Yeah, me too. Hey, I guarantee you're in good hands. So don't worry, Senator. Everything will turn out just fine. It's not there. No. But apparently he didn't believe us. It looks as if we're going to have to go to work again. You're not going to ask me? I didn't get a chance to really look at the place last night. Very nice, fancy. Your father does take good care of you. If you don't get out of here right now, I'm going to call the police. Oh, I don't think your father would appreciate that very much. My father wouldn't have anything to do with someone like you. <sighs> someone like me. I'm a survivor. I've done what I've been told and I've been paid dirty money for it and I'm sick of it. Nowhere near as cold-blooded as your father is. I wouldn't do that. What is it you want? I want out. Out of your father's operation, out of his control, and I need help. I can't do it alone. I need your help. My father is Ron Hallvard. He's the president of a bank. He lives in Grindelwald, Switzerland. 
He's rich. He's got property all over the world. He's a connoisseur. He's also a kidnapper. You're crazy. You're telling me after all these years you've never even suspected? No, I guess he'd hide that from his family. He always covers his tracks. You ever heard of the Scorpion? International kidnapper, right? All right, I'll lay it all out for you. Your father was intelligence during the war. Armaments, guerrilla warfare, demolition, assassination. He was the best. And like a lot of guys, when it was over, he came out of it with skills that couldn't be used, so he set up shop for himself. Your father is the Scorpion. I don't believe any of this. He gained his international reputation quickly. Slick, professional, reliable. When the victim's family came up with the money, they knew they'd see the victim again, safe and unhurt. My father isn't a man capable of any of those things. Well, he hasn't had to actually kidnap anyone for the last eight years, not since his reputation grew to be what it is now. He just sends a letter. The victim can pay a moderate sum up front and be left alone, or pay ten times as much later after the kidnapping. People pay up front. I don't want to hear any more. Well, you're going to hear more. Listen to me. Your father has had a shock. His last letter went to Senator John Martin, who's ignored it. The senator is on his way to Puerto Rico for the opening of a medical center. Your father will have to be there to back up his threat. You're out of your mind. Call your father. Call him! Hello, operator? I had to call Grindelwald, Switzerland, 1717. Mr. Holvard's residence? No, Hans, it's Sheila. Yes, Sheila. Let me speak with my father. Well, I'm afraid that won't be possible. You see, he's left the country. But I was supposed to come over for the weekend. We, we had a breakfast date on Sunday morning at the ski lodge. Yes, I was going to get in touch with you and apologize on his behalf. You see, some urgent business came up that your father simply has to attend to. But where is he? I have to speak with him. It's urgent. He's left for Puerto Rico. I'm sure he'll get in touch with you. He'll call you just as soon as he gets back next week. Yes. Yes, have him call me. Thank you. My father often goes to Puerto Rico on business. I'm on a flight tomorrow to Puerto Rico to meet your father. If you still don't believe me, come with me. You need to know and I need a way out. If you don't come, you'll always wonder whether or not I was telling the truth. Find out for yourself. Joe again. And before you blow a fuse, let me tell you about his family background and his politics. He's here for surfing. And He's a terrific guy. I want you to get to know him better. Yeah, Bill, go ahead. <sighs> Scheduled the meeting for uh, a week from Tuesday. What does this mean? Is this some kind of threat? I'll be back, you, Bill. Yeah, put that down. Don't touch it. There might be fingerprints on it. Although I doubt it sincerely. Don't you think it's about time you told me what's going on here? about him oh he's pretty special he doesn't know how we got on to him but he knows we're watching him what happens now <laughs> he'll lose us whenever he's ready you get unpacked i'm going to make a few calls and let your father know i'm here it won't mean a thing to him i don't know what kind of a crazy game you're playing I'm going to make you take back every word you've said about my father. I'll prove everything I've said to you. Tonight. 
Magia Itali, Señora Simón. There's not a single print on the card. Not that we expected one to be there. We're working with a master. There's still plenty of time for you to change your mind and leave the island, Senator. No. What about your daughter? What does she think of all this? You'll find her very cooperative. Stay away from me, you creep. Now that we're on a first-name basis, why don't you tell me what I did? It's what you didn't do. You didn't tell me who you really are. I should have known. As soon as my father told me what a terrific guy you were and how I should get to know you better, I should have known. I mean, he goes crazy if he sees me talking to any male over the age of 12. I thought you liked me for me. I do like you for you. And the fact that it's your job to watch over me is completely coincidental. Just think of me as your protector. I don't need protecting. And this whole thing's been blown out of proportion. You justice guys are paranoid. Some fruitcake writes a threatening letter with an ink blot on the bottom that looks to you like a... Scorpion. And next thing you know, we're traveling with a parade. Doesn't that make you feel safer? It's making me crazy. Look, I don't know if you're in danger or not. Or just to stick close to you. Real close to you. Day and night. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just how close is that? We'll discuss that when the case is solved. Well, I guess if I have to have a watchdog, you're not too bad. Thanks for the confidence. Well, you better be lighter on your feet, because I move pretty fast. And I change my mind a lot. I have two days in paradise, and I'm going to make them feel like a week. Well. It's not there, is it? He still doesn't believe it. Well, the senator has dropped the gauntlet. So, old friend, it looks as though we're going to have to prove to him that we mean business. souvenir stand that really did me in. Where are you going to put all that stuff? It's never going to fit in your suitcase. <laughs> you mind if I sit down? Or would you rather just wave casually from across the party? You might as well. Thank you. you could do better. You know, I must be getting used to seeing your face. Oh, kind of gross on you. You're really very attractive. Especially when you're mad. And I got on that bus today at the last minute. You were mad. Yeah, but I cut up with you. I'm glad. Dress. That's Catherine Martin, Senator Martin's daughter. She's a pretty girl, isn't she? You should be able to relate to her. She's about your age. Grew up in the best schools, lively, intelligent. That could be you sitting there. What's that supposed to mean? That she doesn't deserve to be threatened, but then that's never bothered your old man. Well, I don't see him here. Isn't that what you were going to show me to prove your story? Your father doesn't do the preliminary work. He leaves that to me or his second in command. You might recognize the gentleman standing by that tree over there. It's Hans Dan. The 
senator receives a letter from the scorpion, a threat against him or a member of his family. He leaves for Puerto Rico. Your father leaves for Puerto Rico. The senator's daughter is here, and so is your father's right-hand man. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. There's a lot of people here. It's a concert. I suppose Dan's heavy into rock music. I want to go. Seeing as you're my guardian angel, how about some punch? Nothing's going to happen to me here, is it? All right. I was carrying. I'd say it was a pellet rifle. It's just a warning. The show easily could have been a high-powered rifle firing bullets. No one would have heard the sound for the concert. No one would have known where they came from. It's very slick. It's very stylish and very professional. Does that mean he's after Catherine and not me? Well, it could be after either of you. I'll get the report back to Hammond. I'll have him double the security around you both. Thank you. Well, thank me. I wasn't any protection at all. We'll both be dead right now. I promise you this won't happen again.
happened to you? I had a little trouble in an excavation site. Someone wanted to bury me. Did you see who it was? Danton. It's kind of his subtle way of telling me I was following Catherine a little too closely. Which means she may be the next kidnapped victim, not Senator Martin. Which is why we have to find out what the Scorpion's plan is before it's too late. Frank, you have to convince Sheila to work with us. How do I do that, Joe? How do I ask her to destroy the one ideal she's got? You've told her the truth, haven't you? Yes, and it's tearing her apart. I didn't realize you'd become quite so personally involved. Yes, I'm personally involved. I've watched her life turn into a nightmare, and I'm the one who's responsible. She's afraid, confused. We've told her her father is a kidnapper. I understand that. And all to use her to set up her own father. Who would have killed me and her tonight if he thought it was necessary? He's very dangerous. He's got to be stopped. We'll just follow him wherever he goes. Oh, come on, Frank. He's lost every tail they've ever put on him. Well, we use four cars with shortwave radios. He's eluded six car setups. Well, you understand? He's really good. Sheila's the only person in the world who can help us. She's the only person who can lead him into a trap. She's got to believe us. She's starting to believe us. You shouldn't have taken the chance. I'm not worried about the feds. When have we ever been worried about them? You should know better than anyone. Violence is not the way we operate. Getting soft after all these years. We have to take precautions. We have to go through with it. For real. What time is the senator unveiling the building? No. And Christina will be ready by three? Yes. Hi, Daddy. What? Sheila! How did you know how to find us? I know where you always stay. What in the world are you doing here? I came here because I found out you were here. Hans told me. What happened to our date on Sunday? Business, uh, something urgent came up suddenly. Date's a date. I'd rather meet you here anyway. Switzerland's freezing this time of year. I'll talk to you later. You always were impetuous. So, you uh, came to seek out your father? No. To spend some time with him. Get to know him. Know what he's really like. You've never known all these years? No. And I want to. I see so little of you. I, I really don't know what you're like. Whatever business you have, can it wait? We could take a little trip together, just the two of us. Well, now that sounds delightful, but I'm afraid it'll have to wait a few days. What could be more important than a father and daughter getting to know each other again? Well, I never realized that we had drifted that far apart. No, of course not. No, my darling daughter. Business first. After all, that's what put you through the finest schools and paid for the most expensive vacations in Europe. Business first. But once that's done, then you and I can plan a trip of our own. And I'd like that very much. I'd like that, too. I, I just didn't want to wait. I'll be finished with my business by Monday. And... Where are you staying? I'm staying here at the hotel. Can I see you tomorrow? Well, tomorrow's a rather hectic day, but perhaps we could have dinner tomorrow night. Are you all right? You seem tense and nervous. No, I, I'm just excited because I'm here in Puerto Rico with you. Oh, I see. Well, I still have to finish some accounts, but I promise you, we will have dinner tomorrow night. Good night, Daddy. Good night, sweetheart. I've been looking all over for you. I went to see my father. He was talking to Danton about the feds not being a problem. Everything you said, everything. Did he know that? No, he didn't know I was there. Surprised you weren't there. Sheila, I couldn't be there. Because your father doesn't know me. But you said that you... I lied. I lied. I'm a federal agent. I work for the Justice Department. They want to know whether or not you're involved with your father. I've told them you're not. How did you find him? You cashed a hundred Swiss francs. 
It was part of a ransom of marked bills from an Interpol file. I took the money from his drawer. He always carries a lot of cash. I didn't think he'd miss it. I was going to replace it. I don't think he missed it. That's what gave away the identity of my father. Once we traced the Swiss francs to you, we started investigating everyone around you. That led us to your father. Once we started to investigate him, that's when the pieces fell into place. You set me up. You really set me up. I had to. Believe me, I've hated everything I've had to do to you. And now you want me to set up my own father so you can nail him? Your father is going to kidnap the senator and his daughter, the girl you saw tonight. We can't let him do that. I don't care. He's still my father. I'm still his flesh and blood. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? Do you realize what you're asking me to do? I'm asking you to save a life, maybe two, maybe your own father. I won't. I can't. Sheila. The ribbon will be cut here at exactly 11 o'clock. We'll have 15 men around the building and 20 more watching Catherine on Capistrano Beach. If nothing happens by noon, Senator Martin and his daughter will be in a car headed to the airport. Our job will be complete. Well, that sounds simple enough. Yeah, it would be if it wasn't the scorpion we were up against. Frank, what about Sheila? Is there any chance she'll help us? I don't know. She may, she may not. I do know she loves her father. I did what I could to persuade her. It's up to her now. How many men do you have on Holvard's tail? Ten for all the good it'll do us. He may not personally do the actual kidnapping. You know, it has been eight years. Come in. Hi, Daddy. Sheila. Darling, I told you I'm, I'm very busy today. Now, we'll meet tonight. I know who you are. I know who you are, and I know what you do. I know how we've lived so well all these years. I know, and I don't know what to do about it. It's like a nightmare. I just want to find a hole and crawl into it and forget about everything. Darling, what are you talking about? What are you... No, it's no good anymore. No more lies. It just won't work anymore. I know what you do, Daddy. I know who the scorpion is. I know who's done those things to all those people. Sheila. No. Sheila. No. Sheila. Sheila. Why, Daddy? Why? For you. For your mother. Before I divorced her. I knew you'd find out sometime. I guess I've always known that this day would finally come. How could you do it? I've never killed anyone, Sheila. I've never had to. I've played a dangerous, high-stakes game. But the danger's always been to me, never to anyone that I kidnapped. But the mental torment, those families. Sheila. Sheila. My poor, sheltered little child. <laughs> you don't know what the world is like. You know what people must do to realistically survive and live. To provide a home, a safe place, or a family. So many times I've said to myself, are my crimes any worse than a company president who sells a billion cigarettes a day? A military general who treats real soldiers like chess men? No. I've never killed anyone, Sheila. I only made my way, sweet Sheila. And made a way for you. I could never help them against you. Help who? Federal agents. They're all over San Juan. I know. So far, I've been able to lose them. But if you go through with this, they're going to catch you. Perhaps they will. But one way or the other, whatever happens. <laughs> just remember. I love you. I love you, too. I think you'd better go now. I'll see you tonight. Don't worry. Everything will turn out all right. This medical center, which will save so many lives for so many years to come, could never have been built at all without Dr. John Philip Marshall. See anything? No, nothing. 
just been abducted. I've got to know what took place between you and your father. I was trying to get information from him. I was going to betray him. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? I want the truth. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. That's the truth. I tried. Did you pick up anything? Anything at all? Sheila, lives are at stake. There are 30 federal agents on this island that want your father very badly. If you ever want to see him alive again, you've got to tell me anything you can. Anything. There, there was a name. I heard him mention somebody's name who was going to help him. Somebody named Christina. Who is she? I don't know. I really don't. You must believe me. I'll have to place you in protective custody until all this is over. You're going to protect me from my own father? Or Dan. Don't let anything happen to him. Please. Fifteen men around the senator at the building. 20 men around Catherine at the beach, and she vanishes. Look, gone. We don't have a clue. We do have a clue. Christina. Who is she? Maybe she doesn't exist. Well, that's a big help, Frank. No, I mean, maybe it's the name of something. What do people identify the name of a girl with? What about a boat? The name of a boat? Maybe, but a boat's too slow. If you kidnap them, what would be the first thing you do? I'd get them out of here fast. Exactly. Christina, Chris... Here. What do you think? Let's tell Hammond. It's worth a try. <laughs>
take care of them. No, Hans. I don't think you will. What's going to happen to the scorpion? He faces life. We've got Danton for attempted murder, thanks to Joe's testimony. I gave you a pretty hard time for someone who was trying to save my life, and did. Yeah? I don't know how I can make it up to you. Are you going to stay in Puerto Rico for a few days, aren't you? Yeah, to the end of the week. Oh, we'll think of something. So what will you do now? I'm going to visit my mother. She divorced my father a couple of years ago and lives in London now. She never knew about him either. You going to go see your father? Yes. Yeah. He needs me now. Maybe for the first time in his life. Sheila, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about all this. You were just doing your job. I care about you, Sheila. I care very much. Is that true concern or just guilt? It's concern. Whatever it is, I appreciate it. Come and see me in London if you can. I'd like that. She had to know, Frank. Sooner or later, she had to know. Yeah, I guess so. I just hate having to be the one to tell her. It's all part of the job. Yeah, I guess so. I hope she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Maybe you can help her. London. Great late-night comedy double tomorrow night on the Disney Channel. 